America is clearly on edge as 47 million people prepare to travel for the holiday season. A worldwide travel alert has been issued for all American citizens. I think it's excellent that people are a little more aware. Sometimes we get a little too comfortable in our own uh, settings and we don't really pay too much attention to what's going on. And security has been beefed up in public areas. I feel much better now that, uh, seeing all the security around. Homeland Security's here, TSA, a bunch of cops, so definitely more comfortable. The State Department says Islamic State is continuing to plan attacks against US citizens using conventional and non-conventional weapons. And in Europe, the city of Brussels is at its highest terror alert. Schools are closed, as are the city's transport systems. I can confirm that the threat for an attack is imminent and serious. And uh, we want to ask our population to stay calm and alert. The streets of the capital city were almost quiet. The only sound is that of armed vehicles and police. The Belgian government has asked for online silence to make it easier to trace any mention of planned attacks. And there's caution in New Zealand as well. Today John Key revealed 40 New Zealanders are on a government terror watch list. Key says one or two are being monitored around the clock. Well their actions are significant enough for us to believe that they pose a potential threat. Exactly what they do and how, again, I just can't go into. But Labour leader Andrew Little says the Prime Minister is just scaremongering. There's no need for the Prime Minister to be whipping this stuff up. It looks like, frankly, a desperate, pathetic bid to look tough, when actually it, the situation in, in New Zealand hasn't changed. New Zealand's terror alert remains at low, a stark contrast to the situation in Belgium tonight. Dan Lake, 3 News.